Welcome back everyone to another video in our Let's Play series of Industry Manager Future Technologies. As you can see, I've got the game paused right now because something interesting happened that I didn't even realize was happening in the last video. One of our competitors went out of business. You can see here at the bottom left-hand portion of the screen, and if you go back to the previous video, you'll notice that it happens toward the end of that video as well. One of our competitors is gone, and we can verify this by going into the stock market screen and seeing that there's only two of us left. The red team is gone. And it shows that, you know, they went bankrupt, went out of business. But there's some weird things going on with that. Number one, you would have thought the game would have made that a bigger part of the screen. You know, like there would have been some big message that flashed to tell me, oh, by the way, one of your two competitors just went out of business. Well, it didn't. So I completely missed it until I was going through some screens in preparation for today's video and happened to realize that the red team was gone. So I happened on it purely by accident. Uh, and then something else I noticed that must have happened that I didn't really realize in the previous video is that, as you can see here, our one competitor remaining now has 52% of their company listed on the stock market. Now, if you're not familiar with the game, one of the mechanics is you can actually buy up your competitor's stock and take over their company. Well, all you need to do that is just over 50%. So like 50.1% would give you the voting interest to take over the company. Well, they have 52% listed on the stock market, so they've just laid it out there for us. Now, at this particular point in time, we only have three and a half million dollars. I'm going to go ahead and let this let the game go. All right, so we don't have quite as much money as we would need to do that. Uh, we're making fifty-eight thousand per turn. That's awesome. Three point six million dollars is not going to be enough to do it. And the way we can find that out is we know there's a thousand shares, so we need five hundred and one shares to take over their company. So let's see what 501 shares would cost. Just under 14 and a half million dollars. So we're definitely not there right now, but as you can see, if we continue to do well and we choose not to expand into another industry, then we'll be able to buy out that company and poof, we will have won by default. Now the, uh, if you watch the very first video I did on this particular game, you'll remember that one of the things you can do with the game, sort of like the Civilization series, is you can set what it takes to win the game. So what's your actual goal, the winning goal of the game? And in this case, it's to achieve $1 billion. And I believe that's $1 billion in the bank. So we've got a long way to go before we can get to that. But it, for all intents and purposes, we will have won the game because there will be no competition left. So... There's a difference between, you know, a technical victory that you set up in the stipulations of the game itself versus, you know, a basic victory that you achieve by running out all the competition. So with that in mind, let's go into our research here. And as you can see, we've got we're researching worker salary to reduce it another 10 percent. And then we've got some other cost saving measures here, uh, which are great. But I'm going to go ahead and DQ all this and the reason is all of this is cost saving and I'm ready to get into another area let's go into another industry so with that in mind let's go back here and oh what has happened now we got worker strike okay this is definitely not good as you can see in the bottom right it is affecting a software company and workers from various factories are going on strike due to the subpar working conditions. I'm sure that couldn't have anything to do with me lowering their salaries continually. And it says they're dissatisfied. Safety standards are lacking. And so now they look like they've been thinking about going on strike for weeks. And now that demand for specialized product is, is higher than ever, which would definitely be the case in a software company, that this is the ideal time for them to strike. Okay, now... Wow. Okay. Before we get too deep into expanding, let's see what effect this is having on our company. 
looks like, I mean, our nothing too drastic can be happening because our profit is still doing great. We're, we're in the fifty-five to fifty-seven thousand dollar range, and it seems to be pretty steady there. So I'm not sure what it's actually accomplishing, or who's striking, or where they're striking. Let's take a quick look. Forty workers here are still working. And as I scroll through, I'm seeing nothing to tell me that there's a strike going on. Now, I'm happy about that because that could put us out of business in a hurry if we have no workers. But I'm going to go back to business as normal because nothing seems to be fluctuating. And if it was a strike there, it seems to be a very quick one. Okay, so let's take a look. Right now, we're at Software Company, and we've done about all I want to do here for the time being. So what do we want to do? I had mentioned in a previous video about the possibility of going into food, but that's kind of a, a completely unrelated area. So now I'm thinking personal electronics is great because we're making software, and why not put that, in, that software into mobile phone? I mean, we'll just turn it into the next Google. So we'll start making mobile phones and then smartphones. I'm not sure what the difference is in this day and age, but... So I think I want to go that route. Now, for the time being, I have no desire to create all those because I don't think we really have the money and the resources to do it right now. So what I think I want to do is simply outsource this to the global market. We're going to see how that works. This will be my first time to use the global market. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into our research. And worker salary is at 77%. We're actually going to speed this up a little bit. And let's go find, I believe, Personal Electronics is this factory. So the first thing we need to do is unlock this. And it's going to tell us right off the bat, this is a very difficult business to be in. And it can be very risky if you have low income. I think we're okay. I don't really know what low income means for this game because that's a relative term. So we're going to hope that doesn't include us. And it says you're, it's only recommended if you're familiar with the basics of the game and establish a good selling product. Well, I think we're okay there. So we're going to go ahead and confirm we want to start this. So that's going to queue that up. Next, then we're going to go ahead and queue up some other things. Let's go ahead and queue per, uh, portable computer. And what does virtual reality get us? Okay, it gets us that. I'm not sure about that just yet. Let's go ahead and see. Okay, it looks like we got a while to wait on some of these things maybe. But I do want to queue up increasing our workforce. And I can only do one of those at a time. I really wanted to do all of them that are possible. All right, so we've got a little bit of time that's going to pass. We're going to accelerate time to the maximum here. We're going to get through worker salary in the software area. And then we're going to get into personal electronics. We're almost done here. And then we'll see what kind of, of products we can get through personal electronics. Now, it's going to run through personal electronics. Let's see how quickly we get there. And keep in mind, there are some other research options that we have, one of which is research duration. All right, so that is a, a big deal because that would, we can see here if we click on it, that would take 10% off of the time it takes to research new technologies. For now, I'm not terribly worried about that, so we're going to stick with it as is. I'm more interested in unlocking all of these products and seeing just how deep this goes. You can see there is a lot to research here. What is the final one? Advanced power system. Wow. So a lot going on with this one. So personal electronics will be done shortly. I really wish they would give me a pop-up that I could sticky and put it somewhere on the corner of the screen that would tell me, my research progress, something about the size of this little square here, really, would be perfect. But as far as I know, there is nothing. All right, the good thing is, while that research is going, there's no signs of that strike uh, that I can find. I mean, our income is going great. We're up to $7 million available in our bank account. So I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I don't see any reason to be worried about it, really. So let's go ahead and continue on. Personal Electronics Factory, almost done. And then we'll be able to expand. 
and add more into our existing sector, which still has a good bit of room. Okay, it's almost done. As you can see, our existing sector is this entire area right in here. So we've used maybe roughly half of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and build our new factory. Let's go into the building shop, our available buildings. And looks like $3.5 million for the personal electronics factory. And okay, this is a, a huge amount of land it's gonna take up. So we're gonna go ahead and fit this in here as best we can and let that go ahead and start building. Keep in mind, we are on ultra fast time setting. And so that's going to go ahead and build. Then we're going to see what we can build and then what resources, because this is going to be the first time that we're actually going to need to provide resources. If you remember, with all of our software products, we didn't need any additional. OK, so my portable computer research is done. Wow. OK, that was quick. Or listen, seem, seem quick to me. Let's go ahead and this will unlock. I'm not sure, actually. Okay, so it's working on, it's doing the workforce right now. Cost, production quality. Haven't really found a need to get into that yet. I'm hoping that actually has some great effect. Let's see, it's this is required for laptops, wrist PCs. Okay, let's do this one. And then we'll unlock virtual reality. And we'll stick with that for right now. Uh, the next thing I really want to do is continue working on increasing that workforce. All right, so we've got our factory up here. We can make portable computers here. But first, I want to see what we can make. And we can make mobile phones. Okay, so we've got two products we can make right now. Mobile phones and personal computers. So we're going to do mobile phone. And let's go ahead and create that. But we're going to have a lot of products that we're going to have to supply. And we're going to get those from the global market, hopefully. So let's go ahead and create that. And right now, we're going to go ahead and slow down slow down time because we're going to need some, some time to go through some menus. All right. So quality there. Better cost. How many of these can we make per day? Looks like 62 and a half. Again, we're, there's that half. And do we want to hire the workers? We absolutely do. Now let's go ahead and I'm going to pause things because at this point I need to go and provide all of the resources. And I'm going to do that by coming right next door to the global market. So we need four things. We need plastics, chemicals, lithium ion batteries, and integrated circuits. So let's go find plastics first. This will be our first time to really get into buying or selling anything here, so I forgot what I was looking for. Plastics. Here we go. And let's go ahead and take the quality down to 20, which is the maximum quality we can make in a final product. So no real reason to get huge quality there. Plastics, 948 each time. So we're going to buy and send it to our one, research, one warehouse right now. How many do we need? Well, it said we needed 23 for maximum capacity. All right, so we're going to do... 23 and we want to repeat this every day this is a great option to have so i don't have to come in every day and do this process that would be horrible so we're and we can see here in our open orders there we go we've got an order for 23 per day and we can also filter and let's see let's clear all and just use what do we need for electronics yeah there we go so we can filter this down Let's look for chemicals. Are chemicals on here? How about that? They are not. So we're going to have to unfilter this and just select all. And maybe we'll look more deeply into that later. But so we got chemicals here, 3788. Choose our warehouse. And our quality is almost quantity is 12. And again, this is for maximum capacity. We want this to happen every day. Set that. Now we need lithium ion batteries. And here they are, 1709. These prices will fluctuate every day, so we'll never know exactly what our cost is going to be, but hopefully it doesn't fluctuate too terribly much. Okay, so we need 51 of these a day for maximum capacity, and we'll repeat this daily. We'll move on finally to integrated circuits, 2726. 
And how many do we need? According to that previous screen, we needed 28 of these for maximum capacity. Okay, repeat each day. Okay, so everything I think is good to go. Let's check our orders one more time. We've got all four of our products here, 23, 12, 51, and 28. So I think we're good to go. Let's go ahead and... So these are going to be delivered to our warehouse. We chose that, which thankfully is like literally right next door, even though this is an airport and is only going to fly. All right. So let's go ahead and look here. And so we need to assign some things to get going. All right. So first and foremost, we're going to sign our mobile phone, which is our final product, to come to this warehouse. That will give us the ability to open up a store and we'll take care of that. So next we need to line up our, the delivery of our, oh, I need to unpause this. So we'll actually start to get some, some things to add to the warehouse. There we go. So we need these to come in. We need to add, okay, so it's not buying all we need of the chemicals. So we got some, some more transport lines to set up here to get our various resources from the warehouse to our factory. And then our final product will come from the factory back to the warehouse to be sold. All right, so that takes care of all of that. For some reason, we're not getting all of the quantity of each we need. All right, so that's working. We're creating mobile phones. 32... Let's see, it said we can make 62, but I've noticed that if we pull up our messages, yeah, we're not getting, yikes. Why are we not getting any of these? Okay, research is complete. That's good. Okay, let's go ahead and set up our store because we're not going to, it's not going to do us any good to make any number of these if we don't have anywhere to sell them. All right, so we've run out of room in our 3x3 three three grid, so we need to upgrade this to a 4x4 four four grid. This is going to cost us 135000 That's perfectly fine. All right, let's choose our warehouse and our mobile phones. we got a cost of $73, and we're selling them for 280 That is a huge markup, but I'm guessing, based on what we've done previously, that we will be able to increase that a lot more. And as you can see, yeah, yeah, I would say so. We're getting very few stored. So I'm going to go ahead and take a chance here and let's go 350 and see how that settles out. Unit stored right now is at two. We'll run it on accelerated time. It jumps to 11 and now we're up to 12. Okay. Up to 15. All right. So we may have chosen too much. Now we're stabilizing. We're back down to 13. Okay. Let's see if this stabilizes. If it stabilizes right here, then it means that we're basically selling all that we're making each day. All right, so now we're up to 16, back down to 15. So not bad. Uh, as you can see, adding this new product has really done number a number for our profitability. And we can see that if we click here and look at our net profit, $17,000. So this is a hugely profitable product. So if you're looking for somewhere to start, this would not be a bad place to start. And this is sort of stabilized a little bit higher than I would like. So let's go down about $5 here and we're going to leave that alone and go back into our research. And let's see what we've got going on. Oh, no research at all. So we want to slow this down. And in fact, we'll leave it at regular speed. So let's see, what do we need here? Personal electronics. Uh, oh, I wanted to get, let's get the, okay, let's go ahead and research workforce again. And what else do we need to research? So we've got HD supply, supplies, VR goggles, wrist PC. Let's go ahead and queue that up. I kind of like this, this line here. And so we've got virtual reality. Let's go ahead and queue that up. Uh, I, want, I don't, I don't want to get the workforce left behind here. This will be our second workforce, as you can see, 
level, this will make two of three that we're working on now. And I want to get three of three because that will maximize our production out of each factory. Not too worried about production line cost or quality right now because it doesn't really seem to matter a whole lot. Uh, we're making tons of money, as you can see, around 75000 per day that we're making. So let's expand our product lines that we have available to us right now. Okay, here's our quarterly progress report. And looks like, let's see, right now we have more cash in the bank. Company value, We, as you can see, we've really gone up here lately and they've only gone up minimally. We have about twice the revenue they have and also about three times the cost, which is huge. But I've already noticed something that jumped out here to me. 16 million in loans and we've already seen that they got a good bit of money from the stock market so that's how they've been funding their growth so they they owe a lot of money in uh, bank loans so that's going to hurt them in fact i would not be shocked to see them before too long go bankrupt because they don't have a lot going on here i mean for us you know the spread isn't huge but we don't have any loans or anything like that to worry about. So it's strictly on a cash basis for us. We're doing good. As you can see, we have quite a few more workers than they do. And so global market there looks like buying everything from the global market. All right. So they're not quite as strong as, as I thought they, that they were and they're, they seem to be weakening as far as their growth. All right, let's take a look at what we've got right now. We can make the mobile phone. We saw that smartphone, I need to research hardware miniaturization, personal digital assistant, and integrated display to get there. Hardware miniaturization. So that seems to be, I think we can, we're close on laptop. Okay, tablets, we've still got some things to go there. Virtual reality, we can make smart glasses. All right, so it looks like we're able to hit the, the basics of each of these categories right now, which is good. That's good. We need personal electronics. And then we can start to get deeper and deeper into each one of these areas. Let's go back to our research and hardware miniaturization. Let's go ahead and queue that up because I saw that was in there. All right, so we got a long way to go here, and I like it. I like the fact that there's a lot of research to be done and a lot of things that we can unlock. Okay, let's see what some of these messages are. Yeah, we're really being hampered in our production by what we can do uh, from the market. Now, let's go ahead and see. I want to see something because I want to build. I'm ready to build. We have plenty of money to build another, uh, start another production line in another company. But I'm worried Okay, so we could do, ah, we're going to need the upgrade. Let's go ahead and build. Let's just go ahead and take that chance. Um, we're doing good. Let's go ahead and build another personal electronics company. And we are going to put it, if we can see through the clouds, we're going to put it right in behind the other one. And let that get building. And yeah, we're not getting any of the stuff we need. So we may have to start down that line of, of getting these done. And producing all of the uh, the product chain ourselves. All right, this is going to be interesting though to see how this flows because I'm not quite sure why we're not getting all of this. That, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. We're almost done building, but let's take a quick look here. I mean, let's look chemicals. Let's see integrated circuits. There seems to be. A lot, maybe. Okay, maybe that. Okay, that maybe that's what it is. There's more demand than there is supply going on right now in the global market, which is apparently everything. Maybe I'm misreading that, but if there's a, a global demand for 71 flax, and there's only a, a, a small supply, which seems to be varying wildly, then does that mean you can't get it? I'm not sure. Okay, here, let's go ahead and upgrade our workforce, which while I'm thinking about it, we want to do here as well. 
because I'm thinking eventually we're going to figure this thing out. All right, so portable computers we're going to make in this. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our line for something we can't produce. Well, that's interesting. So, okay, virtual reality. Let's try that. And let's make that. And, oh, my goodness, we got a whole bunch of stuff we need to buy for that. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the game and set that up. We'll be right back. All right, so I've gotten everything set up. I went to the global market and put in the purchases for all the raw materials, which you can see here, lithium, carbon fiber plastics, glass fiber, graphene battery, and memoristic processor. And then we've got our final uh, product going into the there we go into our area so let's go ahead and not sure what the, 409 is the maximum now based on the trouble we're having getting the resources we need for our other factory I have no expectation that we're going to get all of what we need for this factory either so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get everything set up like it needs to be and then next video <clears throat> that will leave us the ability to because it looks like what the game is trying to do is it's trying to say look we don't want you to do all of this yourself okay we don't want you to do all of that uh, or we don't want you to buy all of that we want you to to do all of this yourself so Here's your nudge in that direction. We're not going to provide you everything you need. So you're going to have to go and build all these factories and do your entire product line on your own. So maybe that's what the game is doing. And if it is, that's perfectly fine with me. We'll get started with that in our next episode. For now, you can see that the price, again, this is another very good, good product that I'm going to move the price up some more. And let's see how this how this does as far as units stored. Let's go ahead and run this up. As you can see, our we've nearly doubled. In fact, now that, that this kicks in, we have doubled the amount of money that we're making. We'll see how this works out. So that's varying pretty wildly. Now it's growing. Now it shrinks rapidly. Now it shrinks all the way down to nothing stored. So wow, this is pretty interesting. All right, so with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and lower this a little bit. We've got our our revenue is really rocking right now. You can see that that our revenue here, wow, that is huge. 63,000, 64,000. So this seems to be all over the place. We're going to call it a day here for now and so things are going well, sales are going well, our expansion is going well. Stay tuned next time where we're going to dig deeper into more production.